My name is Maria Cody, and I'm the Goodnight Professor of Educational Equity, and I'm a professor of multilingual education. My research focuses on preparing educators, both in-service and pre-service teachers, um, and educational leaders, sometimes school counselors and bilingual paraeducators, for linguistic diversity in their place. There's lots of things you can do, and the first thing is don't panic. <laughs> It'll be okay. But your task as a teacher is to figure out who this person, who this human being is in front of me. You don't need to speak louder, just slower, um, and really use all of those modeling, acting strategies, um, simplified print, pairing students up from linguistic background, reaching out to the family. There's a lot of good things you can do right away that will ease the, ease the transition of the student into the classroom. What teachers can do, even in a monolingual classroom, is number one, is to allow a student to use multiple linguistic repertoire, their whole repertoire, to make sense of what's happening in the classroom. So there's a lot of advantage, and teachers in monolingual classrooms could do things like that. They could introduce literature that is that has multiple languages, so see, students see prints, different kinds of prints, different scrolls, different linguistic systems all around that space, and every child benefits from seeing that. They're, you know, we talk about globalization, well, there's one, one easy example to do that. Things like bilingual paraeducators, hiring bilingual paraeducators who want to upskill um, and become certified teachers or receive an ESL endorsement in a state like North Carolina, that's, that's one solution. We could create a network of rural multilingual educators in, in a state like North Carolina, in this state, um, and, and let educators share their creative solutions to some of the issues that they find. So they're, they're their own best advocates, right, because they understand how rural communities function, definitely the challenges surrounding hiring and retaining um, educators who are linguistically diverse themselves. So there's a lot of knowledge here already, and I think sharing that knowledge is, is, um, is ex exponential, it's really good.